What's going on? You're watching NFL Daily by Chat Sports. It's time to get into a live Q&A, so make sure that you're using hashtag NFL or you can super chat to jump the line. So I'm going to be uh, being the host here. If I misspeak, you can yell at me. And Tom, he's going to be doing his best to break down everything. So we do have a super chat rolling in here from Alejandro Martinez. Whew, how will Julian Edelman do this year without Tom? Great question. Uh, the dirty secret of wide receiver play that we don't often want to admit is that it is heavily tied to how good your quarterback is. If the quarterback's not throwing the ball near you, guess what you can't do? I I honestly don't have a great answer because I don't know how good Stidham's going to be. I don't think he's I do think, though, as accurate as he's, Brady is. I do think if Edelman plays all 16 games, he's going to be the most targeted. For I, sure. I mean, I've, I've seen some people throw out Nikhil Harry, and I don't really think that's it. I and think for a, for a quarterback like Jared Stidham, you're going to have a safety blanket. That's yeah. going to be Julian Edelman. It's also, though, can Julian Edelman stay healthy? Mason Roy's question is coming in here. Joe Thune to the Vikings for a second. What are your thoughts on in, that? In terms of, like, the most logical trade fits for him, I think Minnesota should be at the top just looking at what they have. I, Drew Samia ready to go? Are you, are you going to kick Riley Reef inside the guard at, at this point? Are you going to give Cleveland a, a starting job at left tackle to, to move Reef around? I, I think it makes some sense. I'm not sure Minnesota, already up against the cap, can afford to bring in Joe Tooney if they want to extend Dalvin Cook. Again, it kind of comes back to you have to manage the egos of your players. Yep. What you don't want to do is trade for an offensive lineman, pay him a bunch of money, and say, hey, hey Dalvin, here's a middle finger. Like, it's, just, it's just not going to go over as well. So who has the craziest fans? Now, I did want to make this an NFL. One right answer. I did want to make this an NFL-based question. Two right But answers. you know what? We do a lot of sports here as well. We do MLB. 2. We do 5. NBA sometimes as well. So if you want to throw in other sports, hey, I'm all for it. Who has the craziest fans? Throw it in the comment section. So you said there's one right answer. I, I, I clarified it to 2.5 2 because I remembered more along the way. Okay. Do you want to go first? I mean, for me, uh, as much as I love – I got to go Bills Mafia. Okay. Uh, th that was one of them. I thought you were going to say Raiders. Bills Mafia is certainly one of them. I love it when you guys break tables. I think Eagles fans are in there. Eagles fans sometimes are pretty crazy. They, sometimes they get a little crazy violent, and yeah. they don't like Santa for whatever reason, but <laughs> Eagles fans are certainly up there. I think Eagles have to be in there. So I think Eagles and Bills Mafia are, are, the, are the top two. You can maybe go... Raider well, Nation, I will as say, a point five. I, I've been to a Red Sox game where the Yankees came to town. That was a, definitely a different scene. And I've also been in the Bronx when the Red Sox came to town. So some pretty crazy fans there. But, yes, seeing some Seahawks, Steelers, Raiders, a lot of different crazy fans. And I think if you're trying to be stronger together, an easy way to do that is by going to chatsports.com slash strong. For me personally, I do have one of these Stronger Together t-shirts. They are super, super comfortable. They fit very, very well. And it's like the high-quality cotton. It's not the gross cotton where if you sweat, the person from halfway down the street is going to be able to see it. No. An easy way to go get this T-shirt is by clicking the link in the comments, or it will be in the description as well. And for you watching live, it is right now at a special offer, chatsports.com slash strong. What up, Nabia? Is there any good players in the Raiders right now that are better than the Cowboys. So are you asking, are there any players on the entire Raiders team better than the Cowboys right now? Yes. I, think, I think if you're building a 53-man roster, it wouldn't be all Cowboys. <laughs> How about we go starters only? Starters only. I mean, I got a couple. Advantage, I guess I was going to go by position. I okay. mean, quarterback, well, do that. quarterback will be Dak. Yep. Running back, Zeke. Mm -hmm. Receiver-wise, I mean, as much Still as... Still the Cowboys. Oh, your receiving core yeah. is definitely better. Tight ends, I would say yeah. it's the Raiders. Waller's proven he's better than Blake Carroll. <laughs> Offensive line's tough, right? Because I think both teams have top five NFL mm -hmm. like lines. I will say if I'm trying to be safer, I might go with the Cowboys. If I'm looking for upside, like in a player like Colton Miller, if he steps up, I might take the Raiders' offensive line. I think tackles, you might go Cowboys. Interior, beyond Zach Martin, you might yeah. end up going Raiders. And then defensive, defensive line... <laughs> mostly Cowboys. Yeah. And actually, they're both not that great. They're still a lot of, very unproven, I think, for both yeah. teams. Ebon Schwartz. Adams to the Finns for a first, third, and Bobby McCain. So, we actually did a, a Dolphins mailbag, so check that out, Ebon, if you haven't already. It's, it's, it's on the channel. Yep. Uh, Adams was mentioned as part of that. I think the single biggest issue here is not that the Dolphins don't have the assets to pull it off. It's that I don't think the Jets want to move Adams into this. Like clearly, for part one, they, they don't want to move Adams at all at, to begin with. Playing him twice a year, that is not something that they want to see happen. So a first and a third of McCain is a, is a fair offer from Miami. 
I just don't know if the Jets would consider a fair offer from the Dolphins or Patriots or Bills. LSU Saints, what's the toughest division in the NFL? For me, it's been the NFC West. I think when you got the Seahawks, 49ers, Rams, Cardinals, all four teams that I think actually are legitimate in making the playoffs. So for me, I'm going to go NFC West. If you have a different answer, throw it in there. If you want to go second toughest. I, I'll take second toughest. I think most competitive might end up being the NFC North. Okay. I think all those teams are going to be close by each other. I, I want to say AFC South because I think the Houston Texans, Titans, and Colts will all be good, but the Jags really bring that down. How about Dark Horse AFC West? I, mean, I was going to say the AFC West. Yeah. I mean, as much as you obviously you have the Super Bowl defending champs and the Chiefs, I think the Broncos could take a step up. The Chargers, it wouldn't surprise me if they were better. The Raiders could be better, but, you know, it's the, it's the Chiefs, and then it's like all those other teams just kind of battling mm -hmm. out there for second spot. So – what is the best division in the NFL? We're asking everyone watching now. So I see Rashard Lee watching us live. I see Hunter Meeting, TKG, HM0199. Uh, Alejandro Martinez says the AFC West. And then Steven, who's a troll, saying the XFL West. So <laughs> appreciate that. All right, next question from Ryan Wilson. Get a pick. Will He means Keenan Allen. Keenan Allen get re-signed by the Bolts. I think they're setting themselves up to they kind of have to. Because they have Mike Williams, who I like, hasn't yet become a full-fledged number one. After that, the list of players includes Andre Patton, Joe Reed, Darius Jennings, and K.J. Hill. Are those players you have heard of? If you're not a Chargers fan, maybe 50%? Maybe? So I think for the Chargers, with just the way their roster is constructed, they're probably going to have to. Or at least that's their plan, and they feel confident Allen being there long term. Otherwise, they might have taken a di different I mean, approach. I think Keenan Allen is a top 10 receiver, in my opinion, personally. I mean, He's I'll be interested team. to see what he does this year yeah. without Rivers. As much as you want to hate on Rivers, they did have a little bit of a connection there. Let's go to Kevin Otto. What offenses and defenses will improve the most in 2020? Uh, the, the easy, I think, answers are like the Bengals, I think, got to be up there because you go out and get Joe Burrow. You're going to be looking at the Arizona Cardinals, I think, I, being up there. Can I go full-fledged cop-out answer? Oh can I go boy. Pittsburgh Steelers for most improved offense? Uh, yeah. They were they were horrible last year. I think a lot of people might say the Buccaneers. I think they might actually sure. take a step back in yards. Like in, I, I, I think two teams, or one team you mentioned makes sense. The Bengals should be better. In a similar vein to my Steelers answer, how about the Lions on offense? Because when they had Matthew Stafford, they were, they they were, were really, really good. And then Stafford got hurt, and turns out the rest of those quarterbacks weren't very good. Go figure. <laughs> so I think when I look at both of these teams, the Lions last season, 3-12-1. The Bengals, 2-14. and 14. Obviously, both had struggling seasons, both in the top three in the 2020 NFL draft. But like you mentioned, I think when a fully healthy Matthew Stafford, that you know Lions team was actually halfway decent. Mm -hmm. And hopefully the Bengals, hopefully the Bengals, you know, he could be a little bit better. So type B for Bengals. I'm going to go L. Yeah, go L, and I will take that L if I'm wrong. So more wins in 2020, type L for the Lions or type B for the Bengals. Okay. Brett hid this from me, but I saw it earlier. Cowboys trade Dak Prescott to the Eagles for a party size bag of Cool Ranch Doritos. Uh, first off, it's Cool American, just, just so we're clear on, on what the flavor actually is. Uh, it, it, it's, it's a funny troll comment. I, I appreciate it, Dylan. It's Sorry, funny. Dylan. Sorry, don't. Uh, the Bucks make Carson trade. Wentz the third best quarterback on that roster, but okay. Aiden Hartman, the Bucks trade Justin Evans and a first for Adams and a fifth. I don't. No. I I don't think the fifth makes is sense. makes sense. Like you're not going to get picks back. Like just yeah. give up that dream. I know you're trying to get assets back, and I get that. It's not going to happen. Evans in a first is intriguing, but again, it comes back to the common theme here that if the Jets do trade Adams, they're okay at safety. They have Marcus May yep. and they have Ashton Davis, so. Although that makes perfect sense from the Bucks' perspective, I'm not sure it makes enough sense from the Jets' perspective. They might just prefer a draft pick instead because, frankly, that team might not be very good this year. Yeah, that's a fact. So make sure that you're using hashtag NFL or we got over 860 people watching us live right now. An easy way to jump the line from Diana. Appreciate it. Who do you think will – Diana, who do you think will win Chiefs or Bucks in Week 11? I'll go Chiefs. Yeah, I'm going to go Chiefs. I, I, I think the Bucks will be a playoff contender, if not an outright playoff team, but I think the Chiefs will be a better It's kind of hard to bet against the Chiefs. Yeah. It's kind of hard. They will lose at least one game, though. Uh, maybe two. Let's go to Gray. Does DeForest Buckner play at his elite level with the transition to the Colts defensive line, and what team has the top offensive line? Come on, the Colts fans. Let's get to 100 <laughs> subs. Ah, uh, Great question, right? Um, I do think you're going to see 
DeForest Buckner play at a very high level. Agree. Knowing what I know about the Matt Eberflus offense and talking to a lot of people connected to that Colts organization, they think, and I believe this as well, Buckner's going to be a fantastic fit Yep. for that team. Like that, that is exactly what they covet out of that penetra penetrating, attacking, three-technique spot. So I think he's going to play great. I have no doubts about that. And I, I think the, the, the short answer to my long, borderline rambling question there is the answer is yes. And then top offensive lines How for me. How about the Saints? See, I think Saints, I'll put the I'll put the Colts there. So when I ranked mine, I had Colts, Raiders, Saints, Cowboys. They were kind of like my top one. Ravens should be in there. If Andre Dillard plays well, I think the Eagles jump back up. If they can find a 49ers are a solid Brandon defense. Books. Niners in there too. And frankly, the Packers offense line was really, was really good last year too. Appreciate the question, Gray. So we always ask, you know, shout out your city, shout out your area code. How about this? Shout out your state. And if you're not from the U.S., shout out which country you're watching from. You so I see Daniel TSC says California. Kevin Otto is from Ohio. Chris Rocks is Texas. Another Washington, Texas, Ohio, Virginia, Illinois, Canada A, Vegas, not really a state. Uh, Fort Worth, again, not a state, but I'm going to read it anyway, apparently. See you in uh, New York, Arizona, they're so, they're Georgia. They're so used to the city. They're going with those. Leo Mosley, I'm out in Germany. We're at Germany. I used to live in Cologne, Indiana, Pennsylvania, South Florida. Whatever V Canada is. It's very Canada. That's Not just regular Canada. It's just V Canada. So, uh, <laughs> Mizzou. Vowels, Canada. <sighs> Netherlands. There we go. California dollar. Hamburg, Germany. Okay. okay. And Texas. And then Longview, Texas. Well, a couple Canadians in there today. Go figure. So, Sahara said, answer my question. We will. Super chat or use hashtag NFL. Let's go to Richard Lee. Trey White to Cowboys for Tristan Hill in a second. Hey, Mitch, I, I will give you this nickel for 20 bucks. Who says no? Is it a is it Canadian or is it California dollars? <laughs> it's a British pound of nickel. Mm, that sounds pretty also heavy, so... Probably gonna say no. Yeah, I don't know why the Bills would be like, yeah, here's a second round pick and a crappy defensive lineman for a corner. Oh my. Let's go to Shanav. What up, brother? Denver, Deshaun Much Hamilton. Much better trade. First, third for Jamal Adams. Okay. See, I like this I because like Denver it. has made a lot of moves on offense, and as much as I like Hamilton when he first came out of Penn State. He's kind of the odd guy out right now in that offense, especially mm -hmm. after all the additions they made with K.J. Hamler, Jerry Judy. Plus, you still have a great tight end in Noah Fant. Mm -hmm. I think Hamilton could be like that fourth, fifth option, and I yeah. think he's actually a pretty good receiver, so I like this trade a lot, I, actually. I like this trade because you're still starting at that baseline first and third, and you're including something on top of it and not pretending that Deshaun Hamilton is worth a third-round pick anymore. You're right, you would move Kareem Jackson down, down to corner. I think that also helps your cornerback spot. I'm not sure that, again, the Jets actually want to trade Adams. That's a very good offer, though, from Denver. I like that idea a lot. Another good idea, staying safe out there. Go to chatsports.com slash NFL mask. Only $14.99. And the reason why we're really pushing these on today's show is because they ship in two days. So originally, when we showed the mask, it was like they a were, few weeks. Yeah, they were put on wait. back order. Now, we're trying to get them to you as quick as humanly possible. So, chatsports.com slash NFL mask. It's in the description. It's also in the comments there. So if you can't remember the link that you see below us, you can click on it. It's a lot easier. NFL face masks for all 32 teams for only $14.99. Limited time. Take advantage of it now because when they go, they go. And I don't want you to be put on back order. Get them right now. They ship in two days. Chatsports.com slash NFL mask. Mason Roy, why does everyone sleep on Hunter? One of the best pass rushers in the league, but never is talked about. I'm, I'm going to give Mitch a chance here to prove his knowledge or if he's going to get stumped by Mason here. I am. Pay attention to his photo. Who is he talking about? I honestly can't even see his photo. Okay. It's the Vikings. Oh. It's the Neil Hunter. That's who Mason's talking about here. I, look, I, I think it's, it's fair. Your point here, Mason, is that, A, he forgot to include his first name, which can help confuse people. But Hunter is a really, really good pass rusher. 14.5 sacks in both of the past two years. He's only entering his age 26 season. I think Hunter is one of those better young pass rushers. I think we talk about like the slept on edges. Chandler Jones and, 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 uh, and Hunter are the top two guys for me. Ezekiel Lucio, he says, it's my birthday. Happy birthday, my man. That is all the time, though, we have for you today. So appreciate everyone who tuned in and watched.